All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting closer and closer to the polls closing, and don't go away at the end of this show. J.D. Hayworth takes over. I'll remain on with J.D. for a while, and then through the night we go as we bring you uh, the results from the five states where the primaries will be held. A big, big night. Your calls now, 877-NEWSMAX, 877-639-7629. We go to uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mary Ann is uh, first up. Hi, Mary Ann. Hi, Steve. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm hanging in there all right, I guess. Good, good, good. Are um, you excited? Did you vote? Uh, yes, I did. In fact, I took about 200 people to the polls. Good for you. And uh, who did you vote for? Cruz. We all voted for Cruz. Oh, okay. Because you, you know why, Steve? Because there's a lot of bad things that people don't know about Donald Trump. And it's going to come out, and then no one's going to vote for him. All right, give me one. Well... We seen uh, a mafia from uh, a mob figure from uh, the Russian mafia guy that worked with Trump in one of his deals, and he testified under oath. They had a, a videotape of him and Trump, and Trump lied on a deposition. And the court, everybody's sitting on this news, waiting to get Trump. Well, so, well, Marianne, you certainly. I don't know yeah. why you aren't telling the truth. Well, you know, if he lied in a deposition, that's perjury. Uh, I don't recall him being charged with perjury. Certainly, they're not waiting. Uh, to charge him with perjury. As far as uh, the, the, the mob possibly being involved in one of his construction projects, I'm shocked. But anyway, I respect that you called. I respect that you voted for Cruz. I'm glad you got out there. And listen, if Cruz is the nominee, no one's going to work harder to get him elected or support him more than me. Cruz. I thought you were about truth. This is truth. We want honest people. Cruz. You said Cruz. No, I, yeah, I said Cruz, yeah. but I said, well, I thought your show, I liked you guys. Yeah. I liked you and Michael. Michael yeah, 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 Lynch, okay. But you aren't telling the truth. Well, when I, well, well, well I, I, look, I know nothing about, I, I, here, I'm under oath. I just put myself under oath. I know nothing about him lying on a deposition, and I don't know anything about any mobster that he, that he was uh, in court, to, found him to be with. I don't know anything about that. I, so, so if it, I got no, and I, I respect. I'm sure you can tell me now, but I just don't have time. If you, if you email me, that'd be great. Or, or viewer comments, I'll get it. And please call again, Marianne. And thank you for watching. Okay, uh, Rodney is in Wichita, Kansas. Hello, Rodney. How you doing, Mark? N no, really no, 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 Rod I'm, Steve. I'm but that's okay. I've been called worse. <laughs> yeah, Steve. I'm glad you took my call. I am definitely for Donald Trump. I wish more people would vote for him. I think he'd be fantastic for this country. Uh, I'm sick and tired of these politicians, and I, I think we need a change in the White House and somebody that's going to shake it up a little bit. Well, listen, I mean, again, anybody's better than Hillary uh, or Biden yeah. or, or, or Kerry or any Democrat. But, uh, you know, yeah. if, it, if it's Cruz, promise me, you, you know, you, you won't, and, you know, promise me you'll, you'll support the Republican nominee. I will definitely support a Republican. Okay, I'm, you know what, Rodney? Trump. I'm going to call the media and tell them that Rodney pledged to me on the air that he will support the nominee. You're going to be front page news tomorrow. <laughs> you betcha. All right, Rod good. Thank you, Rodney. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. Let's go to Renee from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello, Renee. Hi, Steve. First off, happy Passover. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Same to you. Uh, I have two comments to make. I received an email. It's a YouTube, and I want people to take this address, and they could see well, it for themselves. Well, go ahead. I, I can't give out addresses right now, and we only have a minute. So go ahead. Tell what was it about? It actually is um, Ted Cruz bribing a delegate. You can actually see it. I've, I've seen that on the internet. If anybody wants, to, if any, yeah, if anybody wants to Google that, bring it back. If anybody wants to Google that, I'm sure they could find it. All right. Uh, right it's called Ted Cruz bribing delegate. Okay. What, what, what else you got? The other thing is I'd like to know what the situation is, and I've been reading about Ted Cruz's father and Lee Harvey Oswald. Right, that's Do you know any the, more about No, that? I, I saw the headline in the National Enquirer. That, that Ted Cruz's father had something to do with the death well, of, J, J, of JFK. Of yeah, I know. I, you know what? I didn't even pick it up. I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't even wrap my head around that, to be honest with you, Renee. Listen, thank you for the call. Thank you for the wishes. Thanks for watching. Please tell everybody and do call again. More calls coming up later in the show, folks. You'll have another chance. But Stephen Moore joins us. Don't go away.